in his 13th question, what are the limits of the human mind in Kabbalah? So I answer, there are no limits to the potential of the human mind except those we impose onto ourselves. The eyes cannot see through walls, but the mind can. The body cannot walk through walls, let alone travel astronomical distances instantaneously, but the mind can. Ultimately, an individual mind, being a pattern in the energy field of hyperspace, can even manifest its own biological body, and so can appear and disappear anywhere at will. Likewise, just as the physical laws of 4D space-time have no hold over the energy field of 5D hyperspace, so too do the chronological laws of cause and effect not contain and control the mind in the way they do the body. The primary risk to people whenever attempting to practice mind expansion is in losing their sense of ego or central self-concept. Without this anchor, people become paranoid about being unable to return to their right mind and so become more likely to get lost in the primary clear light that is how the human brain perceives hyperspace. If one chooses to associate their ego with their mind's eye, rather than with their body alone, then one has taken the first step toward mind control over microgravity waves and telekinesis as the goal of all ritual magic, or what is called grossly, mind over matter. 